Hi, I'm Bill Grubb, Head of Reference and Instructional Services. You may have just finished uh, a video by Zip Catalog about basic searching in URSUS. I'm going to continue now with advanced searching in URSUS. We're also going to talk about searching in MainCat and in WorldCat. So here we are on the basic search screen for URSUS. And you'll notice right underneath is Advanced Search. I'm going to click on that. And you'll see, see that it gives me a much different page here. There are a number of boxes that I can use. There are ways that I can limit my search down here. And there are some search tips at the far bottom. I'm going to begin with a search for material about Shakespeare but I've always had a hard time remembering how to spell Shakespeare. So I know it's S-H-A-K-E-S-P. After that, I'm not sure. So I'm going to put an asterisk at the end. That's a wild card. That means that it will pick up various endings. I will submit that search. I see that I got over 8,000 hits across the University Main System and I got different forms of Shakespeare. I got Shakespeare, I got Shakespeare's, I got Shakespearean. Using that asterisk is a very useful tool sometimes. Another thing I want to do is only search Portland. So I'm going to use my drop down menu here to look at USM Portland. Redo my search. Now I got it down to about 1,700 entries. But that's still way too much. I want to modify my search. So I go up to the top here, Modify Search. And I can use one of these other boxes to type in Macbeth. So now my search will retrieve everything that has some form of Shakespeare plus Macbeth. So that will reduce the scope of my search. I'm going to submit that. Now I'm down to 50. All right. I notice that the first one listed here is an electronic resource. That means it's an ebook. I'm going to click on that record, which will give me the full record, which will include a description of the contents. This one has a long description. Others have almost no description. And it also has other authors involved and some other materials. But remember, this is an ebook, and I want to get to the text of that book. You'll notice that it lists the various campuses that provide access to this ebook, and one of those is USM. If I click on USM, I can then, up on this page, click on eBrary, and it will take me to the text of that book. I'm not going to do that now, but I just want you to know that that's how you get to the eBooks. All right, I want to go back now, but I'm not able to. So, okay, I have to go to the other tab. Now, I am going to modify my search further. I have to go back to the main list and click on Modify. And I see that it changed this up here in this top box. Both those terms are now in one box. But <clears throat> I know of a book that's uh, written by a guy by the name of Logan. I'd like to find that book. So I can alter this field in the second box to author and type in Logan, his last name, submit. And now I see that there is a print version and an electronic version. I'm going to click on the print version. I know that it's, it's at the, in the Gorms uh, Portland Stacks. There's the call number and it is available. And if I wanted to see what's on each side of that book on the shelves. I can click on the call number, like this. I now see it highlighted, but I can also see the other books 
that are sitting physically on the shelf next to that book. It's a great way to browse the shelves without having to actually go to the shelf. Okay, I'm going back. I'm going to click on this record. I see that there's a fairly good description of the contents. And there is also a lot of subject headings down here at the bottom. Subject headings are a very useful tool. If you find an item that's really on target for your search, and we'll say that this this item is, we'll say this is exactly what I want, then you look at the subject headings. You may find that they help inform your search to some degree. Uh, and we'll say that in this case, what I'm really interested in is the literary style of Shakespeare. Now, now this book met my deeds well, uh, and it's been assigned several different subject headings, but I'm going to click on literary style. It takes me to this page. It highlights Shakespeare literary style. It says there are 20 books on that. So if I click on literary style, I see all 20 of those books about which the subject is Shakespeare's literary style. So this is an advanced search. There are many other things I could tell you, but these are the basics of advanced searching, and if you need more information, we are always happy to help you at the desk. Well, I will see you in a few minutes in the next video talking about searching main cap.